Let us solve the exercise number 2 in the part A of C sharp lab. In this exercise, we are supposed to write a C sharp program to create a list of topics. The values for the topics are given as follows. So you can see the values. So let's go ahead and let's create that thing. Then they said that they use a switch statement for categorization. So we will do that part later. So I will straight away go to the Visual Studio and I'm going to go to the file and I'm going to click on the new and I'm going to create a new project. And within this project, I'm going to select C sharp and under C sharp, I'm going to select the console application. So under C sharp, select, uh, so if it is like this, click on this uh, uh, down arrow here. So if it is closed, click on this and it is going to open and then click on this uh, C sharp project and select uh, console application. And I'm going to go down over here and you can give uh, any name to this one. I'm going to give it uh, exercise number A2. Uh, you can give uh, any other name uh, as far as and uh, save it in the proper location that was uh, given by your teacher. So that is done. And what is that we are supposed to do? So within this project, they said that uh, I am supposed to create a list. That is a list with the name topic. So let me go ahead and let me create that list. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say I'm going to create a list. And if you notice over here, this list is nothing but a list of strings. So this is one string, this is the other string and so on and so forth. So this is a list of uh, strings. So I'm going to just call it as a list of uh, a string. And you can give uh, a name to this and you have no liberty. And they have said uh, the name of this must be topics. So as is you have to give. So this name is topic because they have said uh, like that. I'm going to instantiate this one. So I'm going to say this is a list of uh, and straight away I'm going to give the values to this one. So I will just press enter here and I'm going to give the values and I don't have the liberty. I have to give the values what they have said. So I will take um, an excuse from you and I will copy paste this value. You don't have this choice but um, I have the choice so I can always uh, do this one because I can copy paste it. So then you have the variable. So I'm just uh, typing one below the other. There is no need to do that thing. You can type everything in single line. For your understanding, I'm going to do it. When I say when I copy paste it, sometimes the things may go abrupt. So be careful. So copy pasting itself is also not a foolproof. But uh, this is what they have said. I am just showing you that uh, this is what uh, they have uh, said. I will remove the space uh, from here, otherwise uh, it will not uh, come properly. So this is what um, is uh, given there. So you have uh, all of them. And finally, you have to put a semicolon. Very important because I'm declaring a variable. You know variable. Whenever you declare a variable, for example, if you declare a variable int x, uh, say int x, then you put a semicolon and the same thing you are supposed to do it, put a semicolon. So x is not required, so just for your understanding. So this is what you are supposed to do. They have told us that I am supposed to create a list and they have given the uh, names here as what? List of this, 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 so you have created. And then they said that using the switch statement, I am supposed to categorize them. So I have to categorize this, if you notice over here, introduction to C-sharp, I have to categorize it as a basic. Then variables, I have to categorize it um, as a basic. Then data types, I have to categorize it uh, as basic. So I have just categorized them. So I have to go through individual element of this list and I have to say whether it is basic or something else is a control flow or the last one they have said oops concept so i have to categorize so i have to i have a list here so all these list i have to categorize i have to say some of them are basic some of them are uh, what is this uh, uh, construct that is control construct and some of them are uh, what is that uh, oops concept something they have said like that okay oops concept so something like that so that I have to do it using switch statement. So let's go ahead and let's do that thing. So I have to go through every element in this list or uh, every string in this list. 
and I am supposed to do that using a, a switch statement. So how can I go through all the elements of the list? I'm going to use the for each. So for each variable item in the collection. So for each, okay, so you can say variable because uh, I know it is a string. I know that it is a string. So uh, by the way, what did I do? Suppose some of you were wondering what this person has done. I just typed for and you see for each and I press the double taps so two times so it's going to complete uh, it for me so this is what uh, i'm doing so what i what did i do is uh, i just type for oh, sorry i will delete it first uh, do it so for each you can just say for each see if you got that thing when you get this thing let me zoom in for you so when you get this thing two times star that's it it's going to do the needful thing for you but it won't uh, give you the all the details uh, it's going to take it as var, but I know that it is a string. I know it is a topics are string. So I'm going to say this is a string of, and what is this? Item, you can say item or uh, what else name you can give. Uh, because it is topics, topics means uh, topics contain topic, singular word, topic. So I will use it. You can use a T also, but uh, uh, you know, just to make it a topic. So every topic in the topics okay so uh, this is going to work so every topics uh, this is topics uh, so let me zoom out for you so this is topics uh, so topics every topic within this topics so this topics is a collection of all the items every topic remember s is not there otherwise both will become same every topic or every item if you want to if you are getting confused every item in this topic it's one and the is you just you are using a variable the end of the day okay so let's use a switch statement so switch again i'm going to press the double tab and let's see what's going to happen so switch on it's going to say switch on the topic so i said every topic within this not the topics in if you're getting confused you just use the x i j k anything okay every topic every topic within this topics so every topic within this topic and i'm using topic not the topics so be careful with that uh, if you are getting confused, just instead of this, just put the X here, just put the X here. Your word work is done altogether, but I started with the topic. I'm going to use the word topic. So if you're getting confused, just put X there. It's just a variable name. Okay, at the end of the day, it's a variable name. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's um, get the category. Okay, so we will have to get one one uh, category there. Okay. And I am going to say for which category uh, this particular thing belongs to. So let me create a variable category because they said the category can be either basic or control flow or hoops. So I am going to create one variable. You can create the variable outside or you can create the variable inside. But I feel like you can create the variable here itself. Okay. So what is the variable? String. String and category. Okay, cat. Is it all right if I put a cat? Cat for category. Okay, if you want to, if you are very good in uh, typing during the examination, you can type like cat as a refill. Okay, but uh, examination, you know, you are very stressed, so just put as cat for shortcut. Okay, that's simple as that. Okay, so let's go with the first case. The case is the first case. What is the first case? Case is if, see they have said, if the uh, topic is introduction to C sharp. If this is the thing, then the category is basic. So this is what they have said. If the category, if the given word is introduction to C sharp, then the category is basic. So I'm going to just say if the category, I'm going to copy paste it, see how easy it is. So just copy it here. If the case is this one, then what is uh, the category? So if this is, uh, if the case is, where did I put the semicolon? Oh, too many things have come when I copy paste it. If the case is this what is this the case is introduction to uh, what is this uh, c sharp then what is the category i use the word cat remember uh, so category is according to them the category is basic this is what they said if it is that 
the category is basic okay after that generally what you do you put a break okay done done with that so what is that i have written if the category is introduction to c sharp then the category is basic and that is what they have said here also if the category is introduction to c sharp then the category is basic so simple as that but they have also said that if the category is variables then it is also basic so what i'm going to do i'm not going to write one more case statement remember when you put the break it will break otherwise it will continue you know how the case statement will work so unless you put the break statement the case will go to the next line you know where okay so if the category is variable i'm going to copy it from here control c control c then i'm going to paste it here so two times the so two things are there if the category is introduction to c sharp or if the category is uh, variables then uh, sorry not the category what, the, what am i talking if the topic is uh, uh, introduction to c sharp or if the topic is variable then the category is basic so this is what uh, they have said so if the topic is introduction to c sharp and if the topic is uh, variables then the both the cases the category is uh, basic again if the uh, topic is a data type the category is uh, basic so again one more thing i have to do it i'm going to uh, control c and control v here control c for copying you know the real control v is to uh, paste so if it is a data types i'm going to copy it control c and control v it is much easier okay so in all the three cases what is this uh, introduction to c sharp the the topic is introduction to c sharp variable or data type the category is basic then a break done what is the next thing for if it is uh, loops if it is um, a switch statement that is if statement not a switch a if statement and if it is jump statement the category is control flow for the next three things uh, this is control flow and i am not going to type the whole thing again i'm going to copy this thing control c this whole thing what i'm doing is i'm going to copy this three things here so i'm going to copy this thing control c to copy it and again come to the next line press enter come to the next line and control v so if the what is it if the topic is loops if the topic is loops let me paste it here if the topic is loops if the topic is if statements control c and control v control c and control v and one more jump statement control c and control v done jump statement then what did i say for the next three the story is what is it a control flow control c and i'm going to get it here the category is control flow for the next three things let me go here for the next three things what are the next three three things not there are not three things there are only two things are there okay if there are two things well and good if uh, what is this uh, class and object and inheritance or uh, the thing is uh, oops okay so that is it uh, let me copy paste it even though there are two are there but let me copy paste it control c and i'm going to delete it deleting is you know very well it is easy so if the case is if the case is class and oh there are three things there there okay if the case is class and object if the case uh, let me copy it directly from here so control c if the topic is what is the topic if the topic is class and object and if the topic is inheritance let me copy paste it if the topic is inheritance copy paste it and if it is constructor control c and control v done copy paste it done and what is they they are saying it is oops concept control c from here remember you don't have the choice during the examination i have the liberty of doing this control based upon the question itself but you have to write it during the examination so you will take some time for you to do that so this is going to be the switch statement so this is the switch statement can you see here this is the starting and end of the switch statement once the switch statement is over i'm going to print it so simple as that how do you print it you have to use control console dot write line see the easiest way is just type c w 
tab two times and that's it you're done so type cw press tab two times and it is done now i'm going to use the uh, string here with the some substitution and what is the substitution substitution is what they said is the topic is this word should come then the rest of them is you see this introduction all these things they are from the this list can you see this list okay and this part you know very well basic uh, control flow this is from your switch statement so this story has to be there so let me just copy that thing so first text is uh, topic is so that is a topic is then uh, i'm going to go for the substitution topic is topic what is this topic what is this topic if you are using this variable as x if you are calling this variable as x you have to call it as x here also you have to call that as x here also but i use the word topic here so i'm going to use that thing and then you will notice here that there is actually a semicolon can you see there is a semicolon there is a semicolon so after this there is a semicolon get done and after that they said category is then that word is there category is category is that word is there then inside that i have to use the category cat this is my variable name you can use any other variable name i'm going to use the variable name cat here so this is the end of the program but before i close this main before i close just keep your cursor here the mouse pointer here can you see it i don't know whether you can see it on the screen it will come in gray okay find out the closing bracket that also has the gray here can you see there this one is the close of main can you see there so whenever you keep your mouse pointer near that uh, near it it will highlight the opening and closing brackets so that is easy because i my when my program ends so if you don't stop the program it will simply run and stop it you know very well you have the same experience in your c program so before you close it just stop the program how can you stop the program you can say console dot read key okay, you can read anything you can say read key so that's it so that your program stops otherwise uh, your program will run and stop automatically so this is what uh, you are supposed to do it if i have not done any mistake but uh, i think my variable is not detected this cat is not detected local variable shrink uh, unassigned okay so something is not unassigned it is the same that unassigned so what is the meaning of it is just says that you declared a variable but you have not declared anything okay so what should i do uh, there is the other option you see one of the option is you i just put a double quotes here and the problem is solved okay you can do it one one option is that next option is i think there is a default statement was there okay, this default it came by itself so i'm going to say default category is not defined okay. so simple as that okay and then put a semicolon this is for the default if none of them is matching so if this is not matching if this is matching it is basic if this is matching then it is control flow if this is matching then it is uh, oops concept if none of them are matching then i will say category is not defined as simple as that okay so this uh, error is also gone okay i have just initialized it it just said that you are not initialized it and i initialized okay, one and the same let me give it a try so i'm going to just run it and uh, if there is no error i must get uh, the output and let's look at the compare our output with the output that uh, i got it uh, from here and uh, you will notice that, that uh, even though you can't um, see oh, i think i pressed a key i can uh, show you there because uh, i use the read key sorry uh, so i can't uh, zoom in now i think i can zoom in using the control a even if i press any key it's gone okay but you can uh, definitely get it. the topic is introduction to uh, see this is basic variable so this is a basic and so on so far you can just check that thing so this is what you are supposed to do it in the program number two. That's all. Thank you for your interest. We will meet again in the other program. Thank you.